Yeah. I've never recovered from finding out that the food pyramid was a scam. Yeah. That's just, that was just, the degree to which that's a scam is, I don't know, is there a worse medical crime in history than that? No. I mean, you know, telling Americans to load up on 7 to 11 servings of grains every single day. Like, and to, to find out that that was a marketing ploy by the Department of Agriculture and that they went against the advice even of their own consultants mm. who warned them that they would produce an epidemic of obesity and diabetes, which is, well, and not to, to say nothing of depression and dementia, which is exactly what we have now. Exactly. It's like, I don't know what, what you even do when you find out that that's true. Yeah, and the, and the unwarranted demonization of natural fat-containing foods, nutrient-dense foods like animal source yeah. foods, which continue to be oh, de demonized. Even by the American Diabetic so is it Association Society? I don't remember yeah, the which idea, one yes. is still pushing the notion that, you know, diabetics can eat carbohydrates. Like, actually, I don't think so. I don't think that's a very good idea since yeah. they're converted to sugar, and for example. And then they're essentially glucose intolerant, right? Like right. It's, it's, a, it's, it's madness. And, you know, with that, with that demonization of these like natural whole foods, I mean, we live in a time where 60% of the calories that your average American consumes comes from what are called ultra processed foods. Right. So the, antithesis, the center of the supermarket. Exactly. The antithesis to whole foods, right? Yeah. So the, the idea that we're still demonizing whole foods to yeah. me is insane. Yeah. Yeah. And, and causes insanity too. So it's not just insane, it's a cause of insanity. 